Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. While I'm making this chili on this open fire this morning, my mind is kind of drifting and free and I just want to wrap out with y'all for a little bit. So uh, I think a lot about education. I think about my education, my ongoing education. I think about the education of our team. I think about the education of those, you know, pondering the idea of culinary school or uh, you know, going to college in general and like I feel like all of our paths are different and there's really no like steadfast black and white, you know, straight and narrow path for any of us and I feel like we all kind of go on our own journey and I think that's part of what makes us all who we are. As a young man in high school, I hated school and I feel like using the word hate is kind of an understatement. <laughs> I mean, and that's part of what <laughs> I guess led me to be an entrepreneur is the whole needing to be somewhere at a certain time and stop at a certain time. I think those are incredibly valuable lessons uh, that we all need to learn, but I think that that just kind of speaks to why I went into business for myself eventually. Uh, so while a young man, I worked two jobs while in school, um, not necessarily because I absolutely had to, but because I loved to do it. I felt like going into culinary school, I had a uh, fair amount of, you know, work-life experience working in kitchens. Uh, but entering into culinary school for me was like my real first glimpse into what a professional kitchen should be like. It's that brigade system. It's the making sure that your shoes are polished, you're wearing black socks, your chef pants. They're not these like crazy pajama looking jalapeno pepper pants. They're black, they're creased, they're ironed. Your white t-shirt is pressed with a neckerchief. Your chef coat is pressed. You're clean shaven every day. You're on time. If we were five minutes late for class, the door would get locked. Uh, you get an unexcused absence. Three of those per quarter and you're out. I think that teaches very valuable lessons. So like take the cooking portion of culinary school aside uh, and just think about like that life lesson as a young person or as a young culinarian. The need to be professional because I always, you know, and I always tell our team, look good, feel good, cook good is kind of a mantra that we live by at the restaurant. And when I say look good, I mean it feels good to put on uh, an iron coat. It feels good to take care of your uniform. It feels good to keep your apron clean. Uh, and then I think that those things translate into your cooking and they translate into your mindset and they just kind of translate into your, uh, your way of being and your way of life. I think that like any education, it is what you put into it, is what you get out. So while I was in culinary school, the first class that you take is Culinary 101. And this is like, you know, culinary foundation basics. Uh, I took the class uh, with a gentleman by the name of Chef Michael Howe, who is a hard ass uh, <laughs> from the East Coast. He's from Rhode Island. And this is all about foundational cooking, rice pilaf, knife skills. Knife skills you learn in foundations class, you learn your like small dice, medium dice, large dice, brunoise, julienne, fine julienne, batonne. Uh, and it's all done by a ruler. So a batonne is perfect quarter inch cube by two inches long. Uh, julienne is an eighth inch square by two inches long. Fine julienne, 16 inch square by two inches long, so on and so forth. And so in order to pass, uh, you have to be able to cut so many potatoes perfectly and we, you know, held them up to a ruler and so on and so forth. So in order to practice, I would go to the grocery store and I would buy 50 pounds of potatoes at a time. And I would take them back to my apartment at the end of the day after class or after work or whatever. Uh, I didn't have a TV. I went my entire culinary education uh, without a TV in my apartment uh, because I felt like it was a total distraction. And I would just sit and I would <laughs> dice potatoes uh, until I got good at it. And then I would turn them into mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes, fried potatoes, to the point of which where I like wouldn't even want to look at a potato, I still love them. 
Uh, but that's like, that to me is by saying you get out of it what you put into it is it takes practice, it takes commitment, it takes dedication, and it's a perishable skill. So that was almost 15 years ago for me. And uh, I still practice knife skills on a daily basis because the skill is perishable and you have to stay up on it to, to be good at it. So education, I think as a young man, as a young cook, I went into culinary school thinking I had, you know, four years working in restaurant kitchens and I knew a bunch of shit and I was so wrong. <laughs> I think uh, as a young cook, I feel like you think that you know more than you do because as an older cook and being in this industry now over 15 years, you realize that you really don't know anything at all because the older you get and the more you start cooking, the more you start learning. So I think like any education, you get out of it what you put into it and I could have probably easily skated by with like subpar knife skills. Uh, but I feel like that's the foundation of everything that you do. Like in order to have a good soup, you need to start with a good stock. In order to have a good stock, you need to take care into like roasting your bones well and making good pensage. You need to start with good product to begin with. So I feel like if you don't have good foundations, uh, it's really hard for you to build other skills from that. So I think the foundations are like the absolutely most important thing that you will ever learn. When I get asked a lot from young culinarians or people thinking about changing a career on whether or not uh, they should attend culinary school and or if they should you know go to four-year university or they should just you know I'm gonna go work in the business and I'm gonna get paid to learn how to cook there's not one tried and true way for anybody but I will say that hands-on experience in my personal opinion is the best kind of experience I think those of us that are in this field are visual learners we're hands-on learners I think that you know, I can learn something by doing it, by seeing it. I have a hard time retaining things when I read it. That's why, <laughs> that's why I love audiobooks. But I think you have to know yourself to know what your best path would be. So I think that culinary school teaches everybody foundational cooking techniques, which like I said, I think that those are the most important. I think culinary school teaches you how to take care of your uniform. Culinary school will teach you uh, the classic brigade system and how that works. You know, the hierarchy in the kitchen, the executive chef, the chef de cuisine, the executive sous chef, the sous chef, the tournant, the chef de partie, the comi, the steward. And I'm grateful for that experience and I'm grateful that culinary schools continue to teach those things because as we have new cooks come into the restaurant uh, that have that type of experience, it saves me so much time in training and in teaching. I think that this business is also very hard. And while it starts f with passion for most, if not all of us, uh, at some point, you know, that fire burns out a little bit and you need to re-inspire and reinvigorate yourself. And so, uh, you know, that's a constant thing for me is finding inspiration and finding reasons and ways to like continue to stay focused and keep my head in the game. I mean, that's why I'm, that's why I'm out here. That's why I'm at the ranch. This is like, you know, this is God's country to me. This is, uh, this is my happy place. But I tell people when they're thinking of culinary school versus for you university, you got to think about what your long-term path is. Uh, do you want to own your own business? Do you want to work for someone else? Do you want to run a hotel? Do you want to cater? And I think all of those things factor into this. You want to run your own business? Probably wouldn't hurt to get a business degree. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to get a marketing degree. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a fallback plan in case you decide that this isn't for you 10 years down the road. Culinary School provided all of the foundational principles that I needed to survive in this business as a cook, as a chef. Uh, but where I feel like, you know, the biggest struggle I feel like for all of this is the business side of it. Um, it's, it's the marketing, it's the running of the business, it's the numbers, it's the like reading insurance policies and, <laughs> you know, uh, paying your taxes. 
And I think that that's, those are the things that you don't learn in culinary school. You learn menu cost analysis, recipe costing analysis. You know, you know, you can write a performa or a budget, absolutely. Uh, but everything that I learned in all of those arenas, I learned the hard way. And by learning the hard way, you make a lot of mistakes. And so I think that in some areas of life, that's like important, like maybe it's good to learn the hard way that you need to bake your creme brulee in a water bath rather than in a dry oven or you'll scramble your eggs? Absolutely. So for me, I think that this is like, a, education is really two pieces to be in this business. Uh, it's the culinary component that you can learn in school. You can learn in the business with hands-on training. But I think that it is absolutely essential to have some sort of business background. Uh, whether that's a full four-year degree, whether that's you know taking general education classes towards a business degree. I couldn't tell you what your path should be, but I will tell you that you need it, that it's important, that your survival will kind of depend on it. And um, you know that's one thing that I wish that I would have done before I went into business for myself. Should you go to culinary school? For me personally, I'm so glad that I went. I think that as with anything, your education what you get out of it is what you put into it. I think that uh, culinary school teaches you the foundational cooking techniques, principles, but it really teaches you mindset. It teaches you to be somewhere on time. It teaches you to take care of your uniform. It teaches you how to work in a professional kitchen. It teaches you calls. I mean, behind, sharp, coming through. I still go to the grocery store and as I'm turning a corner in an aisle, I call out corner behind to the old lady in front of me when I'm pushing a cart. I think that it teaches you to complete something start to finish. And so, you know, going through that as a young cook, I think that that was really important. And now being on the opposite end of that as an employer, and literally having seen, you know, over a couple hundred cooks come through our kitchen over the last decade, uh, I can tell you that I absolutely look for that on people's resumes, that it shows the ability to be professional, it shows that you can complete something start to finish, and I think that there is a grave difference between those that have attended culinary school and their fundamental skill sets and those that have not chopping an onion or starting a stock or breaking down a ribeye, there's multiple different ways you can do that. And I think those that have attended culinary school have a little bit more professional approach to it than those that have just learned by the school of hard knocks or those that have just learned from the industry. I haven't talked about this at all, but I think that there are a lot of general education classes one is required to take while in culinary school. Pretty easy to scoff at or think that they're not important, but they absolutely are. Take public speaking, for example. My absolute least favorite class while in school, almost to the point of where I didn't pass it, is you go into this business and you want to advance from cook to sous chef to chef to maybe someday owner. There is this customer service component uh, aspect of the business where guests want to talk to the chef. They want to hear how their food was prepared. They want to meet the, you know, the person behind that magical curtain that made their food. That requires conversation. That requires like the ability to, you know, to go out and to speak to a guest. Like so public speaking is important. Paying attention in all the bullshit classes that you didn't want to take as a, you know, as a young person, like civics and world history and all those things, like as a young man, I would have rather have been at work. Uh, as an older adult, I wish I would have paid more attention because the further you get in this business, the more you find yourself in both the front and the back of the house. You're working with the guys in the kitchen, but you're also talking to guests. And those are all things that help build your repertoire to be able to have conversations with people, to be able to contribute to a conversation. So I wish I would have paid more attention. I wish I would have... Um, I think that was the one thing, you know, that I uh, really missed in my education was I was so focused in culinary school and I wanted to learn how to cook, but everything else in the business, the business side of it, the economic side of it, I had to learn just on the job. I would have made fewer mistakes if I would have had some schooling uh, in part of my educational program with that sort of thing. So I think that they're both equally important. It's really two parts. Learning how to cook is just one component to working in this industry, it's, uh, it's combined with 
personal skills. It's combined with, uh, you know, learning how to run a business, learning how to manage numbers. They're all equally important. Should you go to culinary school? I'm glad that I did. For me, it contributed to where I am today. I don't think I'd be here today if I hadn't attended culinary school. It opened up all sorts of doors for me. I look for it in the chefs that we hire at the restaurant. I think that it shows in a potential future employer that you have the ability to complete something, that you know that you're not a flake and that you can do something start to finish. I think that everybody's path is different and I think you know, I learned a lot of things the hard way outside of culinary school and the business component, so you need to learn those things, whether it's in school or whether it's in your own way. But I think culinary school is absolutely worth it. I think it's important, uh, and that's just my two cents. Yeah, uh, so I think my fire is about ready to put the chili back on. Thanks for tuning in. You know, if you're if you're in between, if you're on the fence, if you're not sure, if you're ready to take the next step for school and you have more questions, shoot me an email. You know, post down below. Ask your questions. I'd love to help. I'd love to contribute. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.